What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. With the summer coming to an end and hopefully soon the heat stopping too, we are heading into the fall and it is squash season. So to bit of do, is it a bit of do? Can you bit say bit of do? Bit of do. Yeah, bit of do. We're gonna bit of do to the summer and welcome in the fall. I've got the perfect quickie recipe. We are making butternut squash fritters. They are great as a side to a dish or as snacks. And trust me, you are going to love this umami dish. All right, let's go. How many times can you flip it? Just once or twice. Oh, that was three, right? Was that two and a half? I don't know. Oh, oh yeah! You can't hold me, Jesse. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is prep our butternut squash. It comes like this. So if you have a peeler, that's the best thing to use. If not, you have to use a little sharp knife and just peel it. So we're going to take away the skin, just like this. Okay, now that it is pretty peeled, we are going to chop off the top and the bottom. Let's cut this down the middle. I'm gonna slice off this part where the seeds are. And this is what you need, about this size. I'm going to grab a grater. Put it inside of a bowl, and then you're gonna grate the butternut squash. Okay, now it's time to put together the batter for the fritters. We're gonna take some eggs, lightly beaten, we're gonna add to the butternut squash. I just love how vibrantly bright and yellow this is. Then we're gonna add some flour. You use what's best for you and your diet. And now for some personality, I've got some chives, a little bit of garlic powder, some cumin, some heat with some cayenne, and we're going to boost the vibrancy of this by adding in some turmeric. And don't forget the sea salt and the black pepper. Give this a good mix. All right, now let's make ourselves some fritters. Now we're going to set our skillet on medium-high heat. We're gonna add in some oil. So you put in there a little bit more than you normally would. Then we're gonna take maybe a small tennis ball, size a portion of it. Keep in mind these are fritters, so they are kind of fragile. If you're having trouble staying together, then just add a few tablespoons of flour. And we're simply gonna cook these for about two to three minutes on each side. Add a pinch of salt, some salt flakes in there and then place them on a cooling rack. Season to taste. I'm gonna add the salt flakes. Ooh yeah. These are awesome as treats. In fact, let's make a quick dipping sauce. Got some Greek yogurt, add a little bit of oil, some garlic, and use some garlic paste, some of the chives, a pinch of sea salt, and some pepper. It's like a sour cream and onion dip. Quick taste test, make sure it's all right. Oh, let's go, Coke Kev. If this opens, so you can see. Oh my God, look at that. And let's go with the dunk. Follow the dunk, follow the dunk. Boom. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. These, I'm not lying. Ma'am, I gotta do it again, I'm sorry. These are so, oh my God, I don't even know the, word, the right word. They're sensual. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's like a seductive potato. Oh, man. Um, tape, bro? Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know what I'm talking about, the creaminess? Oh, man, the creaminess of the squash and then the sauce complement each other. I don't know what it is about fried eggs. I'm gonna put fried eggs on everything. Yeah, I was gonna say, this was, I was gonna say that, bro. <laughs> All we're missing right now is a fried egg right there on top. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm partial to my guacamole and my avocado, but I like this with the cream. Mm -hmm. Let me just taste it again to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Mm -mm. It wasn't. Mm -mm. I really like these. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope that you really enjoyed it. I hope that you like these as much as we love these. I genuinely love this recipe. It's super easy, and you can customize the flavors as well. Comment below how you would customize it, but keep it calorie conscious. If you like videos like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below, and remember to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that bell, ding, 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 so that way you can be notified every time we post hot new content here in the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Boom! Bye, y'all.